and welcome to Neosho County Community College. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the four assignment types that can be found under coursework. To get started, log in to Inside NC and select a course that you would like to build assignments in. Then, select coursework. From the coursework tab, you are now able to begin building your assignments. Keep in mind that at Neosho County Community College, it's best practice to put your assignments into units. Eight units is a great model to follow and an inside in C best practice. So, from the coursework, we'll now begin to add an assignment. Select the Add an Assignment option. <clears throat> when choosing to add an assignment, you have four assignment types that you can add. The first is the online test format. This is for all types of online testing, from pop quizzes to final exams. You can also import test. The second assignment type is the file upload format. Students can upload papers, lab notes, art projects, music, videos, any type of files that can be uploaded will be accepted in this format. The third option is the forum format, which was new in the summer of 2013. The forum format allows you to make a discussion forum posting and assignment type. By choosing the forum format, you can link the forum assignment to a particular forum post. Last is the basic format. This is everything and anything, whatever the actual activity is. This simple format presents the assignment details to your students and then you can manually enter the grades. To demonstrate each of these, I'll first select the online test format. Selecting each of the assignment types gives you an array of options. For example, on the online test format, there are three steps highlighted in green. Step one, general assignment information. From here, you can name your exam and place it in the corresponding unit that has already been developed previously. Then you can mark if this assignment is required, extra credit, or optional. You can also categorize your assignments based on type. If a type is not listed here, you can add a type by selecting the green plus sign. Also, setting a due date is ideal. You can also set the time and make sure to mark the check mark show this due date in the course calendar. Other options including accept late submissions, opening the exam now, later, or on a specific date. You can even display it to students before the exam is open. Step two. Step two offers a wide variety, including how students can review their test, showing students the correct answers to missed questions, setting a time limit on the test, and allowing pagination and section order. You can also choose to lock students out if they leave the test screen, or offer extra credit opportunities. There is a password protect option, or you could choose to have students use the eRacer locked browser. This is special software that a student will need to download before the test can be taken. It prevents websites from being viewed as well as instant messenger or email while taking the test. Retakes can also be an option for your students. You can allow retakes, depending on how many times you'd like, up to four, or you can select unlimited. A waiting time can also be assigned. Step three, instructions and files. In the instructions and files category, the description is an introduction to the exam or assignment that you're building. It is shown in the student's assignment list, so it shouldn't be very long. The description is shown at all times that the assignment is visible. The instructions are the second part. 
This is an optional description of what your expectations are for the assignment and how your student should complete it. In the instructions, you could give information such as a review of all of the options you set in step two. Finally, you can choose to add a file to your online test. Then, save your new assignment. When saving your new assignment, you're then taken to the test builder. The test builder allows you to import questions from your file cabinet, or you can select to add a question. Selecting add a question can allow some different options. First, you can add the question text in the dialog box within the text editor. You can add images or equations and then give a point value for this particular question. Down at the bottom, you can choose what type of an answer that you're asking. Above, is it an equation, an essay, matching, multiple choice, ordering, short answer, or true or false? In this instance, this will be a multiple choice question. In the options would go your answers. Once your answers are in, select the correct option on the left. You can also choose to include a static option such as all of the above or none of the above. Adding feedback or images to your answers will also allow the students an explanation of why they got the question wrong or correct. You can select to randomize, give partial credit, or limit selections as well. Then, save and add another to continue building your test. Once done, you would select Save and Return to Test Builder. From here, this will take you back to the beginning of the Test Builder where you have the option to activate the test when you're ready. Going back to coursework, I'll now introduce you to the second assignment type by selecting Add an Assignment. From the Add Assignment list, we'll now select the file upload format. You still have the three steps as previously stated, however the options are a bit different. For the file upload, we could give this a name of research paper and still assign all of the requirements to the paper as we did with the test, including type, due date, showing it in the course calendar, and when we want it to be open. We can also select how many points this research paper would be worth. In step two, you can set the minimum and maximum number of files to accept from each student. For example, if you required a rough draft, you can set the number to be two. And step three, the same repeated information from before, a accurate description and a good uh, <clears throat> description of instructions would be recommended. Adding a file such as a grading rubric is also very helpful for students. Then, select Save Your New Assignment. Going back now to the third assignment type, I'll introduce you to the forum format. Keep in mind that it's best to go to the forums page and build your discussion forums before making your assignment. To do so, you would select the forum option on the left on the navigation menu and then develop your forums. When ready, select the forum format. Here, you can name your discussion forum. The same three steps apply in the discussion forum format, assigning it a particular unit, a type, and a category, as well as due dates. 
However, with discussion forums, you have the option of setting the first due date, when you want the students to make the initial post, followed by the due date of the assignment. You can also assign when the student will be able to see the discussion forum and how many points it's worth. If you've already built your discussion forums, now the very bottom of step one, this option allows you to link your discussion forum assignment to an actual discussion forum topic. You can select a category and then you would want to select the topic. Because mine are already previously linked, I'll select the general course information where I have a forum topic that has not been linked. The forum topic is Course Cafe. I'll select this forum topic to link to that particular forum. In step two, other options including not allowing students to post or reply until the assignment opens or after the due date, you can also choose not to allow students to edit their post and replies. Specific requirements include ignoring posts that are shorter or ignoring replies that are shorter than a certain word length. Last, step three, giving a very clear descriptive uh, instructions and description is very important to your students. Make sure that you set your expectations for the assignment and they know how to complete it. Attaching a grading rubric is also very helpful. Select Save Your New Assignment. The last assignment type is the basic file format. The basic format is everything and anything that hasn't been covered before. This could be a manual test that you're giving in a face-to-face -face class or maybe a basic assignment that doesn't meet any of the other qualifications from the other assignment types. I'm pretending that this is an exam that I'm giving my face-to-face -face class and it's paper-based. Step one is to go through and set the general requirements, due date, time, and when you want the assignment to be open. You can also assign the grade point points. Step two is the basic assignment options such as reading material and then step three are the instructions and files including the description and instructions. There's also a file attachment for grading rubrics. Select Save. The four assignment types are very helpful on Inside NC and will help you keep your classes organized and consistent. Thanks for joining me on this assignment type tutorial.